What's up, bitches? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay Ruger, and we're gonna do some stuff. Alright, as you guys can probably guess from the fucking title, I'm gonna be reacting to some shit. So, and talking, I guess, about it. Um, so, what I'm doing is from Prager U. Uh, they put out all these these videos, uh, like informational videos, I guess, like talk pieces about different topics, and a lot of them are like very politically charged things. Their opinions, their opinion pieces. They put out all these like informational videos, uh, and they have them on all kinds of things like culture and art and science and just like all kinds of stuff. But like they have an overwhelming number of videos on identity politics. But you know what that is, that's, you know, like, race, gender, uh, religion, like, stuff like that. What makes you, you as a person, I guess. You know, it's kind of identity politics. If you don't know what it is, Google it, look it up. It's a whole thing. <sighs> so, I've been watching a lot of these videos, because I like to do some research, and only to just watch one video, and just be like, this is what this place stands for. So, I watched this video, I watched a bunch of videos, I think I watched like 30 something videos from them, uh, all on their, like, I, like their poli pol more politically inclined and more, uh, like, gender politicky ones. They have a lot of videos on gender politics. Uh, the one I'm reacting to today is called Gender Identity, Why All the Confusion? Because it's just like so fucking confusing. To just let people live their lives, I guess. Like, you you care so much. So we're going to start this video out. As I do everything on this channel! With alcohol. So grab your brownity frownity. Yeah. I have facial hair. I look like a man in this video. It's great. It's now okay for a man to hit a woman. That, in effect, is what a mixed martial arts league decided when it allowed Fallon Fox, a biological male, to fight as a woman simply because he identifies as one. So, we start this video, we are, how many seconds in? We are 15 seconds in. And we are, you know, misgendering trans people. Cool. Starting tone off right. And the consequence of this decision? Fox sent female fighter Tamika Brents to the hospital with a broken skull and a concussion. Brents needed seven surgical staples to bind her wounds. The battered woman, a trained fighter herself, said of her match with Fox, I've never felt so overpowered in my life. Twenty years ago, if a man hit a woman so hard that he sent her to the hospital, he'd be in prison. Now, he can get paid for it. I gotta stop on that one. There is, there are men who fight women in the ring. If you step into the ring and you injure somebody, that's you stepped into the ring. You made that choice. This is not com conflating mixed martial arts, boxing, wrestling, any kind of competitive fighting with domestic violence is a little bit like ridiculous it's ludicrous that's like you know like you know i beat my wife to death versus you know two fighters step into a ring but one was stronger there's a difference there is a difference massive difference between mma fighting and domestic violence get a grip karen today we are told that male and female are one and the same this denial of male female differences has led to the astonishing belief that men and women are not born male or female. They are whatever gender they say they are. I'm gonna stop there. No one is saying that. No one is saying that. No one is saying that you are whatever you say you are. So, ugh. no one is saying that there is no binary in place. There is a binary. We know there's a binary. That's why we have something called non-binary. Wow, like you're just, just, just taking any straw you can get out of context. You know, we know there's male and we know there's female. No one's saying there's not male and female. 
Facebook went so far as to offer its users over 50 genders to choose from. Know what a demi boy is? Me neither. Know what a demi boy is? Me neither. Okay, Google exists, ho! Google fucking exists! You know how long it takes to turn, to, to, to flip the tab and go to Google and, you know, search Demi Boy and you'll get a definition? Let's find out, starting now. Okay, so, boom, something pops up immediately. You have a, de a definition pop up in 30 seconds. A Demi Boy, also called a Demi Guy, is someone whose gender identity is only partially male, regardless of their assigned gender at birth. They may or may not identify as another gender in addition to feeling partially boy or man. They may also define their identity as both male and genderless. Wow, that took so long. That took so long. That took so long. So long. We're shook. Know what a Demi Boy is? Google, bitch! Just pick up, just open your phone! You have a phone! Open your phone! You have the entire access of the internet at your fingertips 24-7. Figure it out! The idea that gender identification is now a personal choice might sound enlightened to some, but it's actually a very anti-scientific view of one of the essential facts of life. Men and women are inherently different. Their brains are different. I'm stopping on that one. That one has already been disproven by science that the male brain or the female brain there's no difference between the physical makeup of the brain. There's just not one. You'll never, you cannot take a brain of a man and a brain of a woman, stick them in front of the best anatomist in the world, and they can't tell you which one is which, because there's no difference. You're grasping for straws once again, and it's like hormone balances, which can be very easily corrected with medicine, mind you, or very easily changed with medicine, mind you. We do it all the time in science and psychology and healthcare and just general, you know, a lot of people, you know, so many women do it literally every single day. It's called birth control. It's changing your hormone levels. I know what you're thinking. Revolutionary idea, right? Their hormones are different. Their chromosomes are different. And of course, their bodies are different. No amount of peer-reviewed papers from gender studies departments can change this. But that won't stop the progressive elites who run our universities, news media, many of our biggest companies, and even our high schools and elementary schools from trying. For their efforts, women will pay an especially high price. That's because the men and women are the same argument invariably leads women to be judged against a male standard. What is wrong with that? What, why, what is so wrong with thinking women can do things that men can do? Women can be just as productive as men. Women can do just as much as men. There's no reason to think that you can't do as much as a man. For the rest of us who don't want to be you, keep your opinion to yourself, I guess. Or to put it another way, to be more of a woman, a woman has to be more like a man. No one is saying that. No one is saying women have to stop being feminine or that men have to be stop being masculine. No one is saying that. Ain't no one said that you need to grow a beard. She has to want to have casual sex like a man, to serve in combat like a man, to pursue a career with single-minded intensity like a man. Of course, there are exceptions, but the overwhelming majority of women aren't seeking casual sex, don't have the physical strength of men, and don't share the same work-life priorities as men. My wife is a whole, like, not even five feet tall, and she can lift and, and do more than so many men I know. So, like, girl. Ironically, this quest for sameness is occurring at a time when science is telling us more emphatically than ever that we are different. So what your grandmother took for granted, men and science women are different, saying that. science now confirms. Science didn't come. What? Where? With citations. Are there citations? So I'm looking down at their at their description below and they are not having any citations on any level. You're a your university. You should be placing citations on your videos. You are a university. And you can't provide citations. No MLA format, no APA format. Where are the citations? I would get an F if I turned this in for like a grade in college, because there are no 
citations, but there are conveniently a good number of donate to our university links and affiliate codes. Carrying the fuck on. But there is no room for science in, say, stores like Target or Toys R Us, where toys are no longer divided into the boys section and the girls section. That's not true. They're still divided into the boys and girls section. I go into stores like this all the time. There's still definitely a boys section. There's still definitely a girls section. They're, they're very divided. Don't sit here and be like, there's no longer a boys section. There's no longer a girl section. Everything is just genderless anomalies to appease the left. Bitch, I done been in a Walmart just yesterday, and there was very clearly a pink aisle and a blue aisle, so don't tell me that that's the, that that's the real tea. I was in a Toys R Us not too long ago shopping for toys, not just for me, but also for, you know, all the various, like, children that my brother and sister are having. But there's definitely a girl's section. There's a whole section of, like, Barbie dolls. It just doesn't have a big sign over it that says girls. Fuck off. Or in a North Carolina school district where students can no longer be called boys and girls, but only students. That's not true. Or in college dorms where co-ed bathrooms and even co-ed bedrooms are increasingly common. I have been to so many colleges and I can tell you that the only time I have ever, the only time I have ever seen some like co-ed bathroom, like not bathrooms, co-ed rooms was in an LGBTQ how I plus house. Okay? That is the only time I've ever seen that. It's because they gay. For the tiny percentage of people who experience gender dysphoria, we should have nothing but compassion. We should do everything we can to help them and protect their dignity. But we don't need to overturn biologically defined sex differences to do so. But that's what's happening. Using the wrong pronoun at the office might get you fired. Intentionally using the wrong pronoun at the office might get you fired. Because it's fucking, like, mean. It's mean, dude. Like, like if you accidentally misgender a trans person, like, if you're, like, like, if somebody's trans and you accidentally say he and they're a trans woman and they just came out, like, two days ago, no one's gonna be upset. Because it's, like, it takes time for you to, like, rewire your brain a little bit to, like, associate that person with that pronoun. It doesn't happen overnight. And that trans person is not expecting that. Nobody's expecting that. No one is expecting that. But, you know, if three years have gone by and you're still calling Elizabeth Eric, then, yeah, you're probably going to get fired for being a fucking craphead. In Canada, it might land you in court. In mixed martial arts, as we have seen, it can lead to getting your head bashed in. Apparently, this is a small price to pay in a world where we must all genuflect to political correctness. Even after being hospitalized, Tamika Brents knew she had to toe the PC line. When asked how she explained why she lost so badly to a man who said he was a woman, she said, I can't answer whether it's because she was born a man or not. Because I'm not a doctor. That's another, that's another sign of, like, the agenda of this video, is that they said a man who said he was a woman. You're misgendering a trans person. So it's very clear how you stand on this situation. So you're not even providing any kind of, like, commentary or context for the video. You're just literally misgendering a trans person the whole time. That is part of the quote. And honestly, that's not really taking the quote too out of context. The person really did say that. They She really did say... What basically does feel like a, like a cop out of like, I lost because I lost to a man. Um, which when you look at the two side by side, physically they don't look that much different. And you can say that like, oh, because they're a man, they're stronger. But I have met women who are the same size and body type as me, who are just as strong as me. Vice magazine, writing about the incident, had no sympathy for Brent's. Why should they? As they wrote, biological sex isn't black and white. But in virtually every instance, it Where? is. The longer we allow the obvious to go unstated and undefended, the worse it will be for boys and girls and for men and women, but especially for women. The sexes are different. Rather than trying to quash this reality, which can only lead to more needless confusion and suffering, not less, 
we should step back and marvel at it and enjoy it. Male-female differences are among the most wonderful things in life. I'm Ashley McGuire for Prager University. Trying to boil people down to these like basic concepts of what manhood and what womanhood is isn't helping anybody. It's not helping women and it's not helping men. You think you're doing something good, but really all you're doing is misgendering people and treating people like shit and making people to feel bad. So to sit here and try and be like, gender confusion, well, it kind of seems like you're the only one who's confused. If you want to sit here and say a bunch of stuff about a lot of things about gender, maybe you should ask somebody who identifies as a different gender than you. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and a, subs a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel and shit. If you want to see more of this stuff, comment that shit down below. Because I, my channel, I do what I want, but I kind of also, you know, want to do stuff that you guys want to see. So, like that down below. Hit up my Facebook page, that's where you see my speed paints. And hit up my Instagram, because that's where you see a lot of my photos. And if you have a free moment, send me a friend request on Facebook. Special thanks to my patrons from Patreon.